the moment you girls have all been waiting for, she is here. Ooh. Canadian author, I know, Chantal <laughs> High, with her book, No More Assholes. <laughs> and it's your seven step your seven step guide to saying goodbye to guys and finding the real man you're looking for. Is it The No More Assholes book, Canadian author. You have written, um, so this is not your first book. We, we talked about this before. This it's is the first book I wrote out of eight books. So eight books. Go get this one and the other <laughs> seven. Well, depending on where you're at. <laughs> oh, okay. Because if you're getting over a breakup, that's come back clean. If you're vetting for the right partner, that's No More Assholes. Once you have that first kiss, after the first kiss, to fix the baggage that you both bring into the relationship, you want to get fixed that shit. Oh so, my god, I need the whole dance. <laughs> I know! So we are now gonna have her here and like yeah. another seven, I'm eight times. Them all. <laughs> What's what Trisha's stage? birthday again? What stage am I at? <laughs> You're at the No More Asshole stage. You're at the No More Asshole stage. We, and we will dedicate this show to you, <laughs> Trisha. <laughs> So, as you you girls all know, this is Trisha and this is Tanya, and we're going to do things a little bit different today. Um, instead of me just asking the questions, my girls here are also going to ask questions, and we have a little bit of a studio audience here too, so after those questions, we're going to just have open mic. So I pray that you're ready for this. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I'm also going to introduce... Lulu, because she's here today too. So whatever you dis if you disagree with someone, just, just bark. bark. <laughs> right? Just bark. Just do it in your own language. She says she goes, I just go. I yeah. just go. <laughs> That's yeah. how it should be. Just go. So I'm gonna start. Um so my first question is, and we had this as a, uh, someone submitted it, I guess because of the title, is um how do you know he's an asshole? Oh yeah. Okay. Wait, let me move on. Let me get closer so, to you. <laughs> We'll all get comfortable. <laughs> Let me clarify. There are no assholes. Oh, okay. There are no assholes. There's, there's state of minds. And so guys, I call them selfish, you know, the selfish short-term thinkers are guys. The generous long-term thinkers are men. Selfish short-term thinkers are girls. Generous long-term thinkers are women. When you want a relationship, you're looking for somebody that you're going to devote yourself to and take care of for a long period of time. So you are in a generous long-term thinker state of mind. If you fall for someone who's in selfish short-term thinking mode and you want them over here and they don't want to go over there, now we start getting upset. Okay. He's such an asshole. I'm not getting what I want. He's not giving me what I need. Uh. And so this is about vetting twice. Once for mindset, so no kissing for three months. Well, we're going to oh. get into that question. So hold on. Keep your thoughts <laughs> Wait. on that. Yeah, yeah. Well, yes. Don't worry. We'll get into that. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. <laughs> oh, Means selfish short-term thinkers take themselves out of the equation. Mm-hmm they go. Now what's left is the generous long-term thinkers. Now you that for compatibility. Okay. Okay. Oh, mm. So he's not really an asshole. It's really of, we're defining him as an asshole. We're calling them that because we haven't picked the right mindset. We found compatibility, but not the right mindset. And now we're getting upset because he doesn't want to go over here with us. Oh. I need a pen. We were talking about we were talking about having aha uh -huh moments. That was just a uh -huh. Uh -huh. That was just the first. Yes. Oh jeez. Oh, okay, I'm getting comfortable. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on to for to for Tanya oh, here now. Okay, so we've we've decided at what point a man's an asshole, but a lot of times women wanna know, like, okay, so if he's an asshole, then how do you find Mr. Wright then? Oh yeah. So, or who's right for me? <laughs> right. How do we find that man? Oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're out there. We're online. Yeah. Right. And hopefully, we're getting beyond online. Hopefully, we're actually meeting people in real life as well. Yes. Right. Yeah. So we're in a coffee shop. We see someone across the room. Yes. We go over, tap him on the shoulder. We let him know by dropping the handkerchief. You know, little chit chat. Mm -hmm. This was really interesting. I play with Love my to hair. See you again. <laughs> Even though I'm married, hey. I still play with, I still Here's play with my, my email. hair. <laughs> you know, so we're meeting people, and we're drawing them in. We're letting them know the door is open. Come step through, and come show me who you are. Using a no kissing for three months rule means we keep our mind clear. So, are you ready for a little biology? Oh no! Oh boy! Oh la la! Who's <laughs> Get that pen. All right. <laughs> Get a drink. <laughs> what happens when you kiss? 
when you have that first kiss, regardless of when it happens, you lock in. Mm -hmm. So if I kiss somebody on a first, second, or third date, and someone else says, can I take you out? I'm going to say I'm seeing somebody. Mm -hmm. So the biology is everybody's lips secretes a chemical that doesn't do anything to them until it comes in contact with another set of lips. The combination creates phenylethylamine. It's an aphrodisiac. This is why kissing precedes sex. Secondary effect in the female brain is telling her she's completed a vetting process. Okay. It locks her in, makes her say no to all other suitors. Because there's a part of her brain that said, as a mammal, I observed males putting on a display and then selected the best one. It makes us think we know everything we need to know already. Okay. No kissing for three months means that chemical doesn't get in our brain. So it means that then you can use no more assholes and use the 12 questions that peel back his layers oh. and find out who he is and use three months to figure out compatibility. Okay. And you can see other people at the same time oh because you're not lip locked. So in those three months, then a woman, you're saying that a woman can see other people because it... You should. Okay. You should. You should not lock yourself in just because you're having dates. Okay. So can I ask if after the three months you decide to kiss, mm -hmm. does sex immediate, does that mean kiss sex or is there another... You, those okay, clothes so, are yeah. coming off. <laughs> yeah. That's so, three months, if girl. I, if I'm waiting three months, I'm going to explode after a kiss. <laughs> First date, kiss, <laughs> second date, bow, bow, bow. right? <laughs> right? Oh my god. Oh, Can so I tell you a story? Oh, please oh. do. I had a client, they did the whole three months. They had their first kiss anniversary yeah. at the same place they had their first date and then went back to her place and didn't leave for a week. What? A Dang. week? Because, by the way, no kissing means no sleepovers because you want him to go home and think about you. Because yes, so that's true. what happens when you think about something over and over and over again, it gets carved into your brain. And I tell ladies, I don't want you to be with somebody who doesn't carve you into their brain. Okay, so yeah, but uh, during that time, the women, and sorry not to use, but women are probably, you know, exploring or exciting yeah. or satisfying themselves. Oh. Because, yeah. you know, there's always that attraction and then yes. it's like it's like it builds up, right? Yes. And, and it should. It should build it up, should. yes. It should. Because and if it fizzles before the three month anniversary, good thing you didn't kiss them. Yeah, but oh. okay, so here's a question. I'm being devil's oh, advocate boy. now. So say after yeah. the three months, because we all have had this, this was another episode prior, was after the three months, then you finally kiss him and you think, damn, I waited for three that. Three months? Yeah. Because exactly. he wait is a like, second. what uh, did you wait for? Like you, you waited, like you kissed him because the character was there, the personality was there. He made you laugh. He's hard yes. working. The words match the deeds. Yes. Right. But the kiss sucked. Yes. So here's what you do. Okay. Oh, you're gonna kiss oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's not that. No, oh, right. it's not so, it's not in here again. <laughs> so it's always hot here. Here's what you do. Yeah. So you go in, you have that kiss. It really sucked, right? So then you pull back just a little bit, but not enough to break intimacy. Just a little tiny bit, and you look at him and you go, "Let me kiss you." <laughs> oh, I just, just got turned just on. Melted, right? and so, Hold on. So let's just say, let's just right say right he now. doesn't understand, right? Yeah. Let's just say he doesn't understand and he doesn't, blah, 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 right? Yeah, he yeah, yeah. your mm -hmm. face again, right? You do it again. You pull back just a little bit. Don't break the intimacy. Look him in the eyes and say, let me kiss you. And then, and then you say, just close your eyes. Let your mouth go soft and let me kiss you. Listen, men, men want to please us. They want to know what makes us happy. They do. And are we not willing to say harder, faster? When Damn we're right bed? we do say that. When yeah. we're in bed? I say it all the time. <laughs> I said it last night. No, <laughs> it's no different than doing it with the kiss. Okay. So you're still, okay. That's true. Okay. All right. Well, well then. All right then. So over. again, so <laughs> three okay. months. Kiss, sex, is that okay? Yes. Okay. Yeah, once you hit that three month anniversary, he's earned you. That's right, he's earned, earned us. Yes. <laughs> three months. <laughs> okay, Trisha. Three, three months. months. <laughs> We're going oh. into December here. <laughs> so then, how do you know the difference between a man and a guy? Men are hardworking, they take care of their responsibilities, and they're honest. Okay. Now, what about the trust issue? This is yes. a big thing for me as a single girl, online dating. 
um, you know, you meet your guy and you're thinking, wow, he's great. Now, unfortunately, I don't do the three month rule. Mm. I don't. But you will now. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> She'll follow up with you on that. Yeah, yeah, She'll follow up. <laughs> Can I get your, your phone number? <laughs> But how do you, how does that trust, I guess the three months comes with building trust. 100%. So there's three phases to love, right? There's the courtship phase, the insecurity phase, and then the reality phase. Okay. So courtship, we talked about, that's no kissing for three months. That's what he's going to do for three months. The insecurity, really jealousy and insecurity is fear of loss. I've, I've got so much invested in this. I have so many feelings. And now I feel that if this falls apart today or tomorrow, something will be missing from me and I don't want to lose anything, right? That's what jealousy and security is. If you do no kissing for three months and you've observed him for three months and over the course of three months, there have been moments where you went, oh, this was a test and he, he did it. I, I had a show of devotion when I needed it. He could have chosen someone else, but he chose me. So you have those moments where you can go back into your memory bank and pull them back into the present and go, I can tell myself that he's devoted because I have these actions stored in my head. And that helps you get through the insecurity phase. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's, hard. Hard. it's also it's hard because when you when you've been hurt when you're being you're single yeah. and you've been hurt and we talked a little bit about mm -hmm. all of our past uh, off camera. But when you have been hurt and you have to learn from that and start trusting again and to start people seeing the real you mm -hmm. without that first date facade, so to speak, then right. it, it, it's hard. It's a hard, it's hard to get past yeah. that. And it's, and it's when you've been divorced, when you've had past relationships mm -hmm. that have been either verbally or physically abusive, yeah. um, all those things, they play on you the older we get. So it's yes. like learning, and, and you know, I'm not an expert at all, you're the expert, but is it about learning about yourself first and kind of healing yourself first and then being able to let somebody in? You can, you can do it first if you want, mm -hmm. right? And like I have people who come to me and say, I just got over a breakup and I'm not ready and I say and they and they, and they say like I don't want a relationship and first of all I say be careful of the words you say because that frequency you know whatever you say whatever you think is putting itself in your path and I say don't close the door have the time and space boundary yes so that you can get to know somebody gain some comfort gain some trust still get to know and develop yourself yes while getting to know somebody yes so no kissing for three months gives you that opportunity to say, I like you, I want to see where this goes, but I don't want to commit to anybody I don't know. And I need three months to get to know you because I think that's a perfect amount of time. It's not too short. No. It's not too long. It's not too long either. Yeah, you haven't invested and that much, like six months, one year into the relationship. Right. That's a lot of time, especially when you're older. And too. guess what happens when you're not kissing? What happens? You're talking. Oh, that's that right. Thing. And you're just <laughs> staring at their lips. <laughs> But you're, you're talking, no, you are. you're getting to know each yes, other. Yes. And, and what happens in conversations is discovery. Yes. And I find I discover myself still to this day having conversations with people. Yes. So self-development can happen yeah. while seeing somebody. Yes. As long as you're not clouding your mind with phenylethylamine. Oh, that damn phenylethylamine. <laughs> yeah, that gobbledygook. That, that, that stuff. Hi. I so here's a question I remember. Oh, sorry. I'm go ahead. Peanut down. Oh, no worries, honey. Yeah. Um, I do find that. Oh, a little shake there. Um, <laughs> so this is going back to what you said about before about people looking up and actually meeting people. Um, and I, even though I'm married, I, I go out a lot and I meet a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I do find that you look around a room at a club or in a restaurant and people are literally, because now it's all about swiping, right? Um, so it's about, you know, right or left, right or left. And for me, it's like, look up. They're yes. right there. So how do you feel about this generation of it being about online dating or online meeting when you, all you're doing it is basing on a picture when you can look across the room, like you said, in a coffee shop and be like, right. oh, that guy looks cute. And having that eye contact, like chivalry is, I find, maybe because I'm not in that world anymore, but chivalry is gone, human contact mm -hmm. is gone, 
just getting to know somebody is gone where now it's all based yeah. on a picture and the five things you put about yourself. Right. So what do people come to you and say, well, I'm going to go on online dating. Yeah. Or, and how do you feel about that? I think it's totally fine. There's so many success. Like I meet. Oh, and I do. Couples, I've met. Yeah. And I'm always talking to couples and asking, where did you meet? Where did you meet? Right. Mm -hmm. Because I want to know. Yeah. And I hear so many success stories from online dating. And the funny thing is, is we have this mental stigma about it. And we can see it in the way that you just talked about it now. Like, mm -hmm. oh, what do you think? You know? Yeah. But that stigma bleeds into our culture. And even the people who meet online are like, they're surprised they met online. Yes, you're yeah, right. right. Yes, you're yeah. right. You're right. Can you believe I've it? Met, I met yeah. on match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but it is like we have so many more people, which means we're more dense, which which can make it a little bit overwhelming to actually go. Like we used to live in a village, and our mind can bend around a hundred people. That's mm -hmm. it. Once we get beyond a hundred people, we need to split into separate groups and create another hundred people yeah and so we're surrounded by all these people and it can be hard to approach somebody in a crowded space because we're overwhelmed with all these people I see okay. so there is a simplicity to online dating that does make it a little bit easier and there are a lot of success stories there are there's yeah. a lot of and uh, correct me if I'm wrong right. yeah <laughs> <laughs> is, um, it's cross, it's cross. <laughs> I found myself yeah. so I was at dinner with friends and we uh, it was funny because the guy that we were with was on social media was on online dating and the girl that we were with was on online dating and so I guess how it works is you can't see other girls as is a girl being on yeah. online you can't see other girls and if a guy's on there you can't see other guys the competition right. so they switched phones <laughs> So we're like, oh, I want to see it. Like we're all like, oh, let's see that, right? So then he's on, looking at guys, going, oh, this is what's out there, and then I the know, girls looking. So and so I found myself, oh, let me see that, because you know I'm always mm -hmm. curious, and I I found myself getting caught up in this, and I and I, for a moment I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this, because I you're you're judging women and saying oh no she's not good for you oh no she's ugly oh no yeah. she's this or no no she's My that looks. oh no her hair is funny and it's all about looks and i thought oh wait a minute maya that's not what you're about you're not about that yeah. so again maybe because i'm not in that world but i just found it so superficial and so mm -hmm. like you're basing it on just a picture yeah. and and maybe if someone i don't know works from home or doesn't go out i don't know like there's a scenario where that works but i just found it to be a very superficial way of meeting somebody i guess i'm old-fashioned and i like just meeting someone just like that right. just be like oh hi how are you go ahead it's yeah. um, now in my career i i travel a lot the girls know yes. i travel for work and you know everyone's like oh did you meet like my last trip was australia oh a big australian man and i'm like i've been an australian <laughs> well man. i've had it's that. difficult because <laughs> i'm not the type of person that will go into my hotel bar and talk to people because i'm very um leery yes you know oh, it's, for sure. you're in my like i need to feel safe yes so i find that my online dating works because i can vet them and i go through a process okay. oh, that's you know i start with the online dating then we exchange numbers then i need to have that phone call with mm -hmm. them because i need to hear their voice to then make, we to meet. make sure it's not nigerian right right and then i <laughs> And then we need to meet. Yeah. But by then, I've already, like, I've asked questions. Because I am I interrogate these poor guys. Like, you know, your last relationship, how many kids, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. Um, there are guys and girls that are yes. out there. And I'm, I'm not yeah. even blaming this on men. Men and women out there that are just using it to hook up and to have a white night stand. Guys and girls, selfish short-term thinkers, right? Because I've been in girl mode. I, I hit girl mode for a full year. Oh, did you? Oh, oh, yeah, and I had fun. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. Yes, did I you? Did. Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I got out of a three-year abusive relationship. Okay. You know, I was done repeating the pattern of being abused, and and I just went. I don't want a relationship, but I didn't want it. I was twenty-one. I didn't want to stay in my apartment and do nothing. I wanted to go out and to the bar and have fun and meet people, and. And I wanted to explore myself sexually. Okay. Oh, yeah. And yeah. we talked about yes. this. We just talked and had a conversation about this where then you want to do it because you want to do it. Yes. Um, so I'm, I'm was not in girl mode. Yeah. And everybody has a right to their state of mind. Yeah. Okay. Guys have a right to be guys. Mm -hmm. It's just when you are seeking someone to have a relationship, yeah. you're in woman mode yes. and you want a man. I have been in girl mode. 
perfect. Absolutely. I you know After what? I have divorce, to say, absolutely. I love the way she put it. I like that. Girl I do mode. like that because Girl mode. yeah, it is. That's a, a excellent way. Thank you. Uh, I'm now gonna think more like that too. Now I want to be a woman. <laughs> now you. It's time. I'm all grown it's up time now. To be a woman, and ladies. when you're ready, you find the ready person. Yeah. So, at what point did you know that you were ready to go from girl mode to woman mode? Like, at what point were you like, "I'm done with playing around, right? Mm -hmm. I want something serious." At what point did you kind of say, "Aha! When I'm I done met, with this." When I met my next boyfriend, and it was like, mm, "This one I want to lean into." Were you oh. in girl mode when you met him? I was. Yeah. Oh, and then and you switched. switched. I did. Oh yeah, me too. And, and, <laughs> yeah. I did that too. <laughs> Guys can do that. Like, you might meet a guy and you say, I like you, I want to see how this goes, but I don't want to kiss anybody I don't know because I don't want to commit to a stranger and I want to make sure my next kiss is with somebody that I'm building a life with and hitting these goals with. And if there's something that clicks in his brain about you, he might become the man that you're looking for to be the man by your side. <sighs> <laughs> Second aha moment. You've all witnessed it. You might as well be Oprah over here. If he's just, yeah. You get a boyfriend. You get a boyfriend. Get a boyfriend. Yeah. I love that. We're totally all oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You always come up with those. That's so, <laughs> so now I have another question. Go. Now you're in woman mode. You're yes. having a relationship with someone. Now social media. Right. Social media, I find, is the worst because you're connected on Instagram and then all of a sudden everything's working out and I was telling you guys this. Then all of a sudden you see he likes other girls. And I'm right. like, why is he liking those other girls' pictures? Yeah. Who the hell is Who she? Who is she? Yes. Why? And it's driving me. I hate social media and dating now. It I is. I hate it. Yes. Yeah. And but see, we have to stop ourselves to for looking because you yes. know we're you're looking we're, for it. No, we're no, no, looking no, no, for no. It. I disagree. Okay. Oh, okay. oh, you should be oh my looking. God, someone disagrees. Right? Right? Oh. Right? Yeah. right? You should be looking. You should be observing. Right? You should be understanding who he is. You should be not kissing for three months. Whoopsie. Okay, we changed that one, sorry. <laughs> Go back. So that, so that the observation period doesn't drive you bananas. Because oh. because this, like when you're observing yeah. and you're, I want to say insane, <laughs> right? When you're observing and it's driving you crazy, crazy yeah. it's because you're locked in. And there's a part of your brain that's like, that's mine. But he hasn't committed yet. By the way, when I say kissing, the secondary factor is in the female brain. Do you, do you notice I didn't mention the male brain? Yes. What brain? Uh, <laughs> does that have a brain? <laughs> it's down here somewhere. somewhere. <laughs> Think of our fertility cycle. Uh huh. There's a man right here. When does his shut off? Puppy? When does the seed not plant? It's always planting. It's always, it's planting. always planting. What about us? When does the seed not plant? There's a period of time. We shut off in our fertility cycle. Oh. So phenylethylamine only affects us locking us in because we're the baby makers. We need that selection process to choose the right baby planter. Because if we plant a baby with the wrong seed, the chance of survival is greatly reduced. So not kissing means you're not locked in, oh. which means you can observe the behavior without losing wrong. your mind. <laughs> and it means that if he does stuff that you don't like, then you go, not for me. And it's really calm and it's a conversation. It's not a breakup because you're not kissing and having sex. You just say, you know what? This was really great, but I don't think we're compatible and I'm just going to keep looking. So, so that, oh, go ahead. No, I was say, does a man have any kind of chemical woo-woos that tell him? The woo-woo? It happens here and it happens here, but first here and then here. This woo woo is like it's just yeah, like it's going all day. Yeah. Like, it's, like it a just, little <laughs> the wind Mother blows. Nature designed to plant, and I mean plant more than once a day, because you know it's not always the first planting that makes the seed, mm -hmm. right? So Mother Nature designed men to want to just here's the you know you got the row yeah. and planting one seed after another, yeah. so something takes hold. So it's not the same thing. So, I mean, they're built to plant the seed and that's why their sex drive is, is higher than ours. Yeah. But when it comes to locking in, they need to realize that you're on the same level mentally and then the heart falls into place and now he's locked in. Oh. Because by the way, when he makes that baby, their emotion heartwarming doubles ours. 
Yes, I oh, do. Yes. I do a thousand percent yeah. agree with you on yeah. that. A thousand percent. It's and so when true. they make that baby, they want to make sure it survives. So their selection process mm -hmm. is the strong, confident female. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because oh, she can survive and help the baby survive. That's right. Her mama bears. Oh exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, I'm going to interrupt for one second because I want to make sure there's no questions here. Or she answered them all. I know. I'm like speechless. Right? I'm like, I don't even know. All the questions out. <laughs> it's all interesting. Um, I do, going back to the um, what you were saying about it's driving us crazy and, and we should dig in and investigate. Mm -hmm. Now, is it Eyes good? wide open. Yeah. Right? Now, yes. Question okay, I'm like, not psycho but yet. Then. No, you're not psycho. But you kissed him. But, but, you kissed him. <laughs> but here's I the, here's the devil's him. advocate now. So all of that is built in. You're like, who the f can hell is that girl right do I'll we ask them do <gasps> we question them do i we say no at first see that's okay. it yeah, because she's observing everybody has a right to live their life yes and here's the thing about men don't tell me what to do men say that yes uh, I it was don't just tell me what to do if you want to see a man dig in his heels tell him what to do right <laughs> like they don't want to be told what to do so don't say anything about it. Don't go, who's that girl? Observe. Does, does he talk about her? Does he continue liking all of her stuff? Does he make comments on her stuff? Just watch and see what he does. Because guys who are selfish short-term thinkers, who are just looking for fun, it's a lot of flash on the outside, right? So they're going to be looking for a lot of attention yeah. because they're not looking to commit. They're just looking for fun. Okay. So you're going to see all this outward show of attention towards females. Okay. Because for them, it's about females. It's not about you. That's why you do no kissing for three months. You want to know, is it about me? Or am I, just a, am I just a girl to you? Are you looking for a woman or a girl? Okay. <laughs> I have That's another question. Okay, well, this we'll whole do. three month thing, I'm mm -hmm. I, and it's I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it because I am not a type of person that sleeps around. Mm -hmm. I won't. Uh, first date, yes, I do kiss. Second date has been where sometimes I've had I've slept with them, right. and obviously I'm doing things wrong. <laughs> but at 45, I'm just I just think. Three, no kissing for three mm -hmm. months. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. Because I'm telling you, when I was out on Saturday night, they were, I'm telling you, these people were just meeting and they right. were all, they were, right. there was stuff going on. Like, <laughs> I just, and does a guy at that point, like imagine me saying, no kissing for three months. And he's going to go, what is going on? Like, what in yeah. he? Because we're so, we're in a point where we, it is right, left, right, left, right, left. That he'd be like, well, I'll just move on to this one. Right? Well, I'm you don't exactly. want to kiss me. You're not important, right? Here's, here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys will. Guys will what? So guys so. will move on, right? So you're gonna, you're gonna, and and you want to do this very early, right? So first date, there's two conversations that you have. One is, and this is if you think you want to go on a second one, right? Like obviously, if you don't think you ever want to see him again, you don't even bother. Sure. Yeah, right? yeah. Of but course. if you think you want to see him again, you establish mindset and then boundaries. So mindset is, is he a guy or is he a man? Like where is he? Because he knows when he's sitting across from you on that first date, he's already decided if he's ready for a relationship or not. He knows that on the first date. And does he know, oh, I want to see this girl again? He, he does. Yeah. He will, right? So you say, I've had my fun. It was a lot of fun. But now I'm looking for somebody to achieve these goals with. Buy a house, start a family, get married. Whatever it is that you want to do with your future partner. Yeah. And then you say, what about you? And that's a door for him to state, well, I'm looking for a partner too, and I have these goals. Or, and, and if, if he goes, right, yeah, that, that pause, pause, that pause, yeah. if there's a pause, he's not ready. This is, he's still over here. If he says, well, I'm kind of not sure, he's over here. If he says, I'm not ready, he's over here. Yes. Listen to the words coming yeah, out of his, his mouth, mouth. and right. believe them, right? So that's your first vetting. If he signals he's over here, you don't need to have the next stage of the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, but the next stage is, I like you. I don't want to see where this goes, but I don't want to kiss anybody I don't know because I don't want to commit to a stranger because I want to make sure that the next one I kiss is going to be the right one for me to start these goals with. And you will meet resistance because it is counterintuitive to them to want to do that. Again, the seed planter, right? They're the ones who push for it. We're the ones who wait and observe and then choose. Mm -hmm. So he'll be like, 
And then, of course, our culture says you don't do that. Culture says kiss on the first, second, or third date. So he will resist. Yes. He'll be like, what? That's crazy. Never heard about that. No, you don't. Nobody does that. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I can't wait three months for a kiss. And then you say, that's okay. You don't have to. I'm waiting three months for a kiss. Yeah. And this is the science. There's a chemical that's released during kiss that tells the female brain. And by the way, it's an aphrodisiac. That's why you want to kiss me because you want to get me in bed, don't you? Right. But it also <laughs> tells oh, the female brain. <laughs> that I've completed a vetting process and it tells me I know everything I need to know even if I don't. So I don't want to introduce that chemical and lose my mind for three months and then realize we're not compatible. And if at that point he does not say, that makes sense. He does not respect you. He does not respect your goals and he doesn't care about you. Off he goes in that category because he's not ready to be a generous long-term thinker. And that's when you're in woman mode, obviously, Mm -hmm. not when we're in girl mode. That's when you're in woman mode, then you're having conversations. Yes, in girl mode, the conversation says, do you wanna come home with me? That's it, in girl mode, it's just, it's physical attraction and that's it, because that's all you're satisfying. Yeah. And is it okay to have that conversation about your goals on the first date, or do you wait? Or I was just yeah. gonna. At what point yeah. is it okay stroke. to have that broad stroke? Right, like I'm looking for somebody to achieve this with. What What is it? The broad stroke that you want to achieve? Right. Don't talk about what he want. What you like? Who he needs to be? Right. Who he can't be? Yeah, like, yeah, don't yeah. put that on, on the table. Him. Yeah, yeah. Let him ask. Right. What are you looking for in a man? When he asks that question you know he's starting to lean in because he's wondering who he needs to be to be the man by your side. Right. Awesome. Oh, don't oh you want God, a man to I work for you? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love her. On your next date, have her in your ear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, the little alpha yeah. bushes. Yeah. 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 We'll be like texting her. No TMing kissing. Her. No kissing, Trisha, stop it. Resist your impulses. <laughs> On that note, Lulu, do you have any questions? Oh, no, she's because so she's cute. answered them all. <laughs> and you didn't bark once. So this was a good one. This was a good segment. And I'm sure we're going to have a lot of other questions once this goes on. And um, we'll for sure have her back. I actually am having her back for another segment. Um, so that will con- still to be continued. Thank you so much. Thank that you. That was awesome. I, Thank we're speechless. You. Thank you. I know. No kissing, Trisha. No kissing. <laughs> Trisha's like, I have to take this guy. So-